Today, I'm going to show you a technique that I used to create the focal image on this card project, featuring the new Gina K Design stamp set called Botanicals. The technique is called Emboss Resist, and many of you have seen me do this technique using past Stamp TV kits. Let me show you the tools and products you're going to need to do this technique. To begin, you're going to need a Versamark pad, some clear embossing powder, and an anti-static pad to remove static off the surface of your card or piece of cardstock. You're also going to need a chunky stamp and a background stamp, and both of these stamps come from the new botanical set. Then you're going to need some ink, and I'm using the Memento bamboo leaves, and I'm also going to use some vivid taupe ink, a couple of sponge daubers, and of course you're going to need a heat tool to emboss your image. Then I've got a paper towel and I've got some scratch paper. I started off by stamping the background stamp from the botanical stamp set onto a piece of the Gina K Designs Pure Luxury Ivory card stock, and I used some taupe ink to do that. Then I trimmed it out into the shape of a rectangle. Now my next step is I want to run my anti-static pad over the surface of my piece of cardstock because now I'm going to emboss on top of that. Using some Versamark ink, I'm going to ink up one of the botanical images from the stamp set and stamp that right into the center of the piece of cardstock that has the background stamp stamped on it. My next step is to take some clear embossing powder and sprinkle that all over the piece of cardstock and then I'm going to blow away the excess. And I will replace that excess embossing powder into the jar. Now I'm going to emboss this image using my heat tool. And you'll know it's done because the image will come up nice and clear and shiny. You'll have to hold it a little bit at an angle to be able to see it because it is clear. But once you see the shine nice and solid, then you know it's done. You don't want to overcook it because you don't want to burn the embossing powder. Okay. Now, giving that a second to dry, cool, rather, I'm going to grab some of the bamboo ink and a sponge dauber. Now, what I want to do here is I want to make sure that my heaviest ink is right over the image and then it gets just a little bit lighter as it goes outside the image. And I'll show you how I'm going to do that. Let me just test it to make sure that it's... Yep, okay. I'm going to get a, pick up a little bit of ink on my sponge dauber and start right in the center. And you can start to see that image popping through. Get some more ink on there. Real heavy in the center. And then I'm going to take that sponge dauber and I'm just going to, in a circular motion, just cover the rest of that piece of cardstock. And now, using that piece of paper towel, I'm going to wipe over my image and you can see how that image really just pops out. Then, using some of that taupe ink, I'm going to pick up some of that on my sponge dauber and I'm just going to go around the edges to give it a more distressed, antiqued look. And you can see how pretty that makes the whole thing just pop. And now that focal image is ready to be placed on a card project. And here is my finished project that I made using the new botanical set.
Emboss Resist works best with silhouette or chunkier style stamps so that more of what's underneath will show through on your finished project.